The Cavaliers are trading Colin Sexton, Lori Markinen, Ochai Agbaji, and three first round picks and two pick swaps to the Utah Jazz for Donovan Mitchell. First reactions to this is that Utah Jazz got fleeced, but honestly, that might be an unopinionated take to say the least, only because of the fact that really and truly the Utah Jazz are looking to rebuild. So they're technically getting what they want out of this. They get off of Donovan Mitchell's contract. They get a bevy of trades because they traded Rudy Gobert before. They got a Hall of Trades then, they got a Hall of Trades now. Um, Danny Ainge is back in his bag once again. The Cavs, of course, they received the highly touted, great scoring Donovan Mitchell. To me, for the Cavs, the kind of reaction I would have is, let's see how it will work. Pretty much because their backcourt, there's not much defense. They still have Isaac Okoro, which is great that they kept him, but other than that, they don't have much defense in their backcourt. Truth be told, they're lucky they're not in the West because the West backcourts would terrorize Cleveland all season long. They do have twin towers in the front court, but uh, like I said, in the back court, that doesn't help too much. The East is a front court heavy conference, so that's pretty much where that is there. Now, in this deal, Colin Sexton finally gets out of free agency purgatory. He gets dealt as a sign in trade. He signed a four year, $72 million contract, which was fully guaranteed. He didn't get the crazy bag that he could have got if he stayed with Cleveland, but he got a bag nonetheless. As it stands, the Cavs roster is Darius Garland, Ricky Rubio, Raul Nito, RJ Nimhard, Donovan Mitchell, Karis LeVert, Dylan Windler, Seti Osman, Isaac Okoro, Lamar Evans, Evan Mobley, Kevin Love, Dean Wade, Jared Allen, Robin Lopez, and Isaiah Mosley. I don't know if this is a team that's ready to contend, but I will tell you, they might just be top three in the East. Darius Garland is coming to his own. Donovan Mitchell, we already know what he brings to the table. Seti Osman is a dog Evan Mobley dog Jared Allen dog. we already know what we're getting from these guys the guys that are playing behind them their depth with their second team is amazing it's amazing of course this is the time now for Cleveland to finally ascend to a level that they haven't been at ever since losing LeBron James both times nonetheless this team looks like they're ready to take over the east what do you guys think about this trade do you still feel like Utah they got fleeced in this trade or are you like me where you feel like they're already rebuilding anyway so getting a haul is what they're trying to get so it's really a dub for both teams but until next time it's your boy tb with the greatest hoop stories and debates on the tube and i'm out